So good day everyone. Uh, in celebrating Good Friday, there are several rituals, liturgical activities, and Bible stories that we are witnessing or hearing, like the Station of the Cross, the Seven Last Words, and the Procession of Santo Ingero. I would like to share to you my reflection today, which focuses on the Sacred Heart event. Uh, Patrick Donnelly, in his book entitled The Heart of the Gospel, Traits of the Sacred Heart, published in 1911, said, The passion was the crucifixion of the heart. He was explaining about the symbol of the sacred heart with the crown of thorns wrapped around the heart. According to Stephen Beale in 2018, it is the heart of Jesus that makes the cross more meaningful to us today. Let us go back to the Gospel of John, specifically in chapter 19, verse 34. To make sure that Jesus was already dead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear and accordingly struck his heart. And at once there came out blood and water. My friends, this is what I mean by the, or this is what is called the Sacred Heart event. By the way, why water? There is so much symbolism for this. Scholars consider water as the symbol of the sacraments. But let's go back to the Bible. Is it not that when the Israelites in the desert were dying because of thirst, what did Moses do as commanded by God? He struck the rock with his rod and water came out. The prophet or the prophecy of prophet Zechariah was fulfilled when he said, They shall look upon him whom they have pierced. On that day, there shall be a fountain open for the house of David and Jerusalem to cleanse from sin. Now, the blood. According to Brother James Brent, uh, OP, or the Dominican, there are eight reasons for the significance of the blood, but I will only pick up three. First, blood saves lives. Remember, the blood splashed on the door of the Israelites so that the angel of death would pass over their house. Hence, they are celebrating until today the Passover feast. So they were saved because of that blood. Second, blood seals covenant, like the covenant between God and Abraham. Third, blood is associated with the sacraments, especially the Eucharist. In the Old Testament, people are forbidden to eat blood. But Jesus, in his time in the New Testament, said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. So, if we, if we reflect on the Sacred Heart event, there are so many symbolisms and their meanings. So to summarize, the meaning of the Sacred Heart is to say, or a quote from John 13 verse 1, A God who loved them to the end. Both the documents, or the document of Lumen Gentium of the Second Vatican Council and the Catechism of the Catholic Church state, the origin and growth of the church are symbolized by the blood and water which flowed from the open side of the crucified Christ. So now, let's go to, from the layman's term. We now look at the Sacred Heart event not as an event of defeat or discouragement or failure. Based on the symbolism, Christ won for us. He saved us from sin. He gave us the church that helps us in sustaining our faith until today. If we look at the cross today, we don't see a criminal punished or punished to death. We see Jesus who showed his love even until the end of his life on earth. So there is victory, not defeat. So what is the message of the Sacred Heart event to us in this uh, Good Friday? First, let me tell you or that all of us, you and me, are experiencing what I call, and this is what I tell my students, as the little sacred heart events in our lives. I will repeat, little sacred heart events in our life. Every day we experience like our heart is being pierced with a sword. The young ones are very vocal when they have breakups, as if the world has ended, as if their heart is totally broken. Many of us are suffering for many reasons. Some have problems with their families, co-workers, or superiors. Every day we go through little piercing of the heart. Unfortunately, some could not take the piercing. They surrender. They gave up. Some even committed suicide. 
If there is one message that we can learn today, it is the meaning of the real sacred heart event as I already discussed with two symbolisms of water and blood. So, what shall we do if we experience the little sacred heart events in our life? Let me bring you to a very popular poem, The Footprints in the Sun. You say, that child complained to Jesus when he only saw one set of footprints. He said, and I paraphrase, Where are you, my Lord, during the little sacred heart events in my life? Jesus answered, and I paraphrased, My child, during the little sacred heart events in your life, when you only saw one set of footprints, I was carrying you. My friends, let us learn from Jesus. Recall and reflect the sacred heart event. In times of difficulties and problems and uncertainties, do not surrender because something good will come out from these little sacred heart events. Let me end with a quote from Father Andre Quine, the founder of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart. He said, It is in the heart of Jesus that we will all gather and this heart will talk to you more eloquently than your own. Jesus had shown it to us. When others, see, when others see it as a defeat, Jesus turned it into victory. Whether you are a devotee of the Sacred Heart or not, gain inspiration from Jesus. Oh, by the way, don't forget, during the little Sacred Heart events in your life, He will carry you in His loving arms. Ametor Kuryaso, Ametor Kormari. Have a blessed Good Friday and Holy Week, everyone.